Hello all. In this video session, we will be looking into how to set up a dev environment for Service Fabric. So let us get started. I'm just going to paste this link in here. I'm going to give this link in the video, video description. So let's just see. So I'm going to do it for Visual Studio 2017. So, so we, we got to make sure that we have Azure development and management, Azure development and management workload installed in Visual Studio 2017. If not, we just gonna go to Visual Studio installer. Okay, five fingers. Let us quickly see if I have that installed. While it's loading, let me quickly download the Azure Service Fabric SDK. So let me just try and see if I have the Azure workload installed. Yes, I do. So when you are trying to install uh, the Service Fabric components, make sure that you have this in place as your development workload. So since I have that, let me just double tap this one. It kind of opens up my web platform installer. I have version 2.7.198. Let me try and install it. Accept. Kind of download. Okay. It can totally install four components. You can see it's two out of four. Might take some time. I'll just come back once it's done. Hey, welcome back. It is done now. So I have both the runtime and the SDK. Let me just say quit. Okay. Low on battery. Yeah. Let's try and do this. Okay. Uh, since the service fabric uses partial to execute and deploy the applications. So we got to do this one as well. So let me just copy this. Let me just search my partial. Click run as admin. Yes. Just paste this. Yes, I'm done. Let me try and search for it. Okay, I have a service fabric cluster manager. So it kind of lets me set up my local cluster. You know, cluster is a set of nodes and ideally each node represents a particular machine, but in your development environment, service fabric say, uh, lets you set up one or five nodes. Your, your machine adds access nodes and also a collection of nodes as well. So let's just see what we have in the system tray. We have this small bubble which represents a cluster manager. Okay. So when you first launch it up, you can set up either a one node cluster or a five node cluster. Let me just set up five node cluster. It can, you get a message saying that it is setting it up and it takes a couple of minutes. So I'll just come back once it's done. So Thank you to set up. So let's just quickly browse. If we set up a five node cluster, if I want to switch, I can just switch back to one node cluster. I can remove the cluster. I can stop it. Let's just reset the cluster. And also, we can just manage the cluster from here. Let's quickly see what manage cluster gives it. It gives you a nice user experience to see all your application that are running under on, in, inside your cluster and all the nodes that you have. Currently, I don't have any application running, right? So we're going to develop application and we're going to deploy it on the local cluster. So right now, since I have five nodes, these are my nodes. Yeah. And I have all the system services from Service Fabric running. We will get into more details about what each of the system server means and what, what that job is in, in a later video. So that's pretty much it. So I think we are good enough to get started, but get started to start developing application and deploy to local cluster. In the next video, I'll be ch chatting about, I'll be showing how to how to set up a service fabric cluster in, in Azure Cloud and then 
in the following video maybe we can get started developing and deploying applications thank you for joining the session have a good day